Well, this took longer than I expected. Welcome to the Hippie Geeks. Now that my grow tent is finally set up, let's take a look at what I decided to go with and how it all looks in there. After checking out a ton of different Spider Farmer lights this year, it is finally time to get this grow tent set up for a small grow that I need to finish off indoors to avoid any mold issues. First up, let's take a look on top of the tent and see what is going on up there. With as many different lights as I have put in the tent this time, I needed to move the exhaust fan to the top of the tent to make room on the inside. The keen-eyed will notice that I haven't flipped the fan around to pull air out of the tent yet, but I will flip it before the plant goes in there. With the fan outside of the tent, I want to have it set up to suck air from the top of the tent and then push it through the carbon filter to scrub most of the smell from the air before it enters my workspace. You can also see the smart power strip that I have been using for a while now. It has six normal plugs on one side and then six smart switched plugs on the other, which is plenty to run a small tent like this. Looking at the front of the tent, you can see where I decided to place the controller of the exhaust fan, which is nice and convenient. You may also notice that there are no screws going through the tent, and I figured out a much better way to attach this than placing a board behind it and screwing it in. If you look inside the tent, you can see the pair of little neodymium magnets that I am using to hold it in place, and they work great. This makes it super easy to move the controller around, and honestly, I think they should include something like this in the box to attach it to the tent, as it is super secure and you can put it wherever you want to, and then move it at any time. Looking at the tent from the inside, you can see how I mounted all of the lights in the top of the tent. First up, on the left and right side are the two deep red lights from the set that we just looked at, and they are each hanging from two ratcheting hangers that keep them in place, and faced slightly into the center of the tent. Next up are the two UV lights that were the other part of the set that we just checked out, and I have them both hung on the front and the back of the tent in the same way that I have the deep red lights set up. All four of these lights are hung right at 50 inches above the floor. Each pair of lights has their own plug on the smart switch, so I will be able to schedule them independently from each other and from the main grow lights themselves. Next up in the center of the tent is the SF2000 Pro, and if you remember my testing all three of the lights I had at a 100 watt power draw, I like this one the best out of the three, which is why I installed it in here. I actually considered going with the G3000 instead, but for now I am going to go with this one and see how it works out finishing off this grow. This light is hung at 53 inches from the floor and is pretty much centered in the space. Turning them all back off and then cycling them all up again, you will see the deep red lights come on again, followed by the UV lights, and then something else comes on. Well, that is actually the four supplemental lights that I put in the corners of the tent in their unboxing video, and they really do help to light the lower sections of the tent up. Finally, I am going to power on the SF2000 Pro as well, and that shows us what this is going to look like with every light that I have in the tent turned on. I still need to put in the oscillating fan and get it plugged in, but I am deciding on which corner I want to install it in and at what height. That is mostly going to depend on what it looks like in there with the plant, which kind of brings us to why I chose the hanging heights that I did. If you are still following the second channel, you may have noticed that I have started pushing some of our old grow videos that used to be on this channel up to there, and I also pushed the Grow Peaceful first update to that channel as well. I was initially going to try pushing some of that content to this channel, but almost immediately after uploading the Grow Peaceful update here, I received a strike and had to remove it from the channel. We will see how things go with uploading all of the Grow content to the second channel for now, and hopefully it works out so that it has a place to live. Pretty soon over there, I am going to be uploading the second Grow Peaceful update video, and then that plant will be going directly into this tent to finish out. The plant is currently 41 inches tall from the floor, which is why I hung everything where I did. That will put the SF2000 Pro 12 inches above the top of the plant, and the supplemental lighting on the side should help with the rest of the plant as well. If you want to check out the grow videos that are going live again on the second channel, I will leave a link to it down below, as I did change the name again to reflect the content that will be going live on there. A big thank you to Spider Farmer for sending over all of this gear that we are using in this tent, and if you want to check any of it out for yourself, make sure to click on the links to their website in the video description down below, and use the discount code GEEKS at checkout to get 8% off your entire order.